want you to discard everything you think networking is. And I want you to remember this, networking is every single human interaction. It may be that tweet you're posting right now. It might be the person you sat to and shared some power with at one of the seating arrangements outside. It might have been someone you showed them where the bathroom was. It might be your email signature line, the headshot that you can get taken. It's every time you interact with someone else. So if you think it's a cocktail party, I want you to discard that. My frustration and reason why I wrote the book Build Your Dream Network was so much advice on networking, which for me is the most intimate activity of building human relationships. My frustration was the lack of personalization, generic advice, one size fits all. Where are you headed? I mean, I don't know many people who take a road trip without a map and a plan. Now we may take detours, we may be open-minded to test and try new things or take a different route, but we have some idea where we're going. When you're thinking about networking, do the same thing. Think about where you're headed, who are the people who can help you, now how do I connect with them? make the difference, not how many times you've worked over your elevator pitch and how pretty is your pitch deck and all that kind of stuff. How do you make people feel? How are you keeping them informed? How are you keeping what they're doing in your periphery so you can figure out ways to be helpful to them? Wake up tomorrow and do the same thing. Think about an email you get from a friend that says, I'm looking for a job. How does that feel when you get that? You're like, I don't know where to start. Yeah. So what do you have to start by doing? You have to start by asking a lot of questions and racking your brain. Well, do, do, do you want a job at Google or were you looking for a job at Walmart? I don't know, what, like, what are you looking for? Mm -hmm. And when you ask big general questions, mm -hmm. you're making your network do the work for you. Mm -hmm. We are sitting here in this room, but think of the complexity of your relationships. You know, the beauty of social media. We got all that other stuff we can now kind of see behind people. You're not just sitting here as yourself. All that other stuff behind you. You want everyone on your team and you want everyone you're interacting with to bring that all to bear on what you're doing with your startup. So take have great ideas. A lot of us had this idea, but until you connect it to a network, until you do, not somebody else connecting you to the network, until you connect your ideas to a network, take your choice. You want to be Spanx? You want to be the pantyhose on the floor? Take your pick.